Hello everybody, um, my name is Mr. Gibbons and this YouTube channel is designed to be a place where I'm going to upload lessons and information from my class. Uh, that way if you miss my class or you forget something or you're just interested in the information, you can take a look and you can understand what you missed and what you need to do in order to be successful in 8th grade English this year. Okay, So I'm going to try to make this as smooth as possible. I know that this is a weird year for everybody. And so hopefully this information that I post on this channel will help you guys out. And once again, if you have any questions, guys, just feel free to ask me uh, either in class or reach out to me through my contact information. Today, what I'm going to go over real quick is the uh, interactive notebook that's for my class. I've had a bunch of people who um, either they've forgotten, they're confused, or maybe they're added late to my class and they missed the information. So this is a lecture on how to use the interactive notebook and what you're going to do with it and how to get it set up. Okay. So first things first, this is the interactive notebook right here. Everyone's going to have the same cover. This notebook is designed to be a place where you do bell work for my class. Okay, And you're going to do bell work every single day. When you first log into my Google Meet section, I'm going to have a slide presented to you that will have the date, your objective for the day, and it will also have whatever your bell work assignment is for the day. Okay, So like this slide right here says, this will be where you do your daily bell ringer. Please make sure you put the date and the learning objective for the day on the top of your slide. Then complete the bell work activity in the main section of the slide. The following slides are format examples and directions for each day. Okay, Leave this alone. Don't do anything to this slide. Same thing with this slide. This is for the directions for the five types of bell work I do in my class. The first is journal, and it's essentially like a diary, all right? Um, there's no right or wrong answer. All I need you to do is write about five sentences about yourself, about how your weekend was, how your day is going, something you're looking forward to, anything you want. It's just designed for you to get your emotions out of your head and on the page, okay? Um, grammar, we're going to do that later in the year. That's where I'm going to give you a sentence, and you're going to have to label the types and parts of speech on the sentence and make any corrections that are needed. Creative writing, this is the one I'm going to do the most. Creative writing is where I give you a prompt. Um, most of the time they'll be silly, sometimes they'll be interesting, sometimes they'll be difficult. Um, but you're going to answer that prompt as creatively as possible. Once again, there's no right or wrong answer. It's whatever you want to do. Some examples for prompts might be, what would you do with a million dollars? What would you do if you crash landed on a desert island and you had to survive? If you had to pick one superpower, what would it be? Those are examples of some of the prompts that I might give you. And whatever you answer, it's good to go. As long as you do it, you'll get a grade for that. I'm not grading correctness on creative writing or any of this, actually. As long as you do your bell work, you'll get a grade. The fourth that we'll do later on in the year is called response. I'm going to show you something, a video, a song, a picture, something, and you're going to have to respond to it. Uh, what did you feel when you looked at it? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Was it important? Do you think it matters? You're going to have to look at something, think about it, and respond. The fifth one is CNN 10. That's where I'll show you a clip called CNN 10, and it's a world news segment. And it lasts exactly 10 minutes. I'll show you that clip. You'll go through it, and then you're going to have to tell me what's something you learned and why is that important. Okay, so those are the five types of bell work. The way you're going to do your bell work, all of your bell work will be in this interactive notebook, which is this Google slide right here. This is your notebook. So what you'll do is on the first page where it says my name, you're going to change it to say your name. So you're going to have your first and last name right there. And then up here in the top left where it says Gibbons Interactive Notebook, you're going to do the same. You're going to have your first and last name up there at the top. Once you do that, you're going to click this gold share button right here. When you click it, you're going to type my information. Okay, You're going to type in David. Gibbons, and you're going to choose my picture and profile right here, and then you're going to click the blue send button. And what that's going to do is it's going to share your notebook with me so that I can grade it and look at it whenever I want. Once you send it to me, and once I have your notebook from here until the end of the year, you do not need to turn this in anywhere. You don't need to share it with me again. You don't need to turn it in anywhere. All you have to do is keep up with your bell work on the slides, and I can check it whenever I want. Okay. So once again, you'll type in my name, David Gibbons, and you'll click the blue Send button. 
okay and once you do that it'll load it'll send it to me and that's all you have to do to keep up with your bell work I have added a bunch of slides right here all these colorful slides over here on the left these are templates that means you are supposed to change them they say weird random dates on there that's on purpose you need to change the date to the correct date so for instance here's my first slide today's date is Tuesday September it's the first I think yes first 2020 so that's my date this right here the SWBAT that stands for students will be able to that means that's your objective for the day all teachers every single teacher you have they have an objective that they're trying to do that day SWBAT is what we want you to do each day I'm gonna show you this this is what one of my cycle looks like hold on sorry actually no I'm just gonna let it ring um, this is what one of my cycles looks like okay and so this is my lesson plan uh, and if you take a look right here for September 1st which is Tuesday if I scroll down um, your objective for the day is students will be able to compose literary texts such as personal narratives okay And so if I take this, sorry, the phone, I'm trying to let the phone quit ringing. Okay, perfect. So what I would do is I would have this on a slideshow. All you have to do is type it. So this is students will be able to, which is SWBAT. And then you would take this part, which would be on a slide for you, compose literary text such as personal narratives. So I would select it. And what you would do is you would type it. I'm going to copy and paste it real quick. And it will look just like that. And then in this main section, this is where you do the bell work. So if on your slide that's presented to you, I say, answer the following creative writing prompt. What do you think life would be like in 25 years? You're going to answer that right here. You would say, in 25 years, I think life will be like... Dot, 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 and you'll answer it okay if I tell you to write a journal prompt then you're gonna say um, this weekend was really great dot, dot, sorry dot, 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 and you're gonna continue to journal so when you're done this is what it'll look like you'll have the date at the top you'll have your objective and then you'll answer your bell work right here okay and then the next time you come to class you'll have another bell work so you go to your next slide and you do the same thing change the date write your objective answer the bell work you keep doing that on all of these slides and then once you run out of slides all you're going to do is pick whichever color you want okay doesn't matter if you like red you'll go to red you'll click on that slide you're going to right click it brings up this box with options you're going to choose the duplicate slide option one more time you're going to choose the duplicate slide option then you will click and hold on that slide that you just created and you're going to drag it all the way to the bottom and when you let go it's going to move it down to the bottom so now I have a new slide where I can change the date change the objective and do my bell work you're going to do that throughout this entire year so by the end of the year you should have a Google slideshow that has a ton of slides in it that has the objective you learned for that day and it has your bell work in it okay once again, guys, if you have questions with this, feel free to reach out to me um, and I'll answer them as best as I can.